a reading from John's Gospel. And just as Moses lifted up the servant in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Those who believe in him are not condemned, but those who do not believe are condemned already, because they have not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the judgment, that the light has come into the world and people love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For all who do evil hate the light and do not come to the light, so that their deeds may not be exposed. But those who do what is true come to the light, so that it may be clearly seen that their deeds have been done in God. Here ends the reading. Do you remember Christmas morning when you were young? The idea of opening your stocking and gifts wrapped under the tree was something that you waited for for at least a month. Kind of like in our current Lenten period of 40 days and 40 nights, we would tell our parents, I can't wait. I want us to imagine in this time of Lent, being in the, in the wilderness, first without Christ, in the depths of the night and without cloud cover, with cloud cover hiding the stars and moon. There, there is no food, no lights, no one. Now I want you to imagine having Christ sit next to you in the wilderness. And he is providing you with all that you need, the food, the comfort, the light, and the love. I am right now deep in the season of Lent. Last Saturday, I lost my dad. He was a bigger than life teddy bear who was a guiding star in my constellation. He showered me and all who knew him with gifts of effervescent hospitality and joyous gratitude. He loved to talk with, mentor, and teach the younger generations. I can't imagine what God would feel allowing his son to go into the wilderness tempted by the devil, and then see him climb up into the Jerusalem only to be tried and crucified unjustly and cruelly. Yes, he would have known fully of the resurrection to come, but he was willing to do all of this for each and every one of us. Just as he knows every head on our heads, he wants the best for each of us. He wants us to believe in Jesus. He wants to be, us to be exposed to the light so that our deeds and all that we are can be seen in God. Dad gave his life to God 70 years ago. He was training to be an Air Force pilot to go off to the Korean War. On the day of his first solo, he was ready then and throughout his life to be exposed to the light. He believed in Jesus Christ and faithfully served his family, church, and his God for the rest of his days. I like to think that last Saturday when dad died, he was again at the end of the runway. His flying nickname was 
bone crusher. And I think the tower and pilot conversation this past Saturday went like this. Tower, this is Bone Crusher holding short of the runway. And the tower responded, Bone Crusher, you are clear for takeoff. It's time to come home. Amen. The collecting prayer this weekend is Gracious God, whose blessed Son, Jesus Christ, came down from heaven to be the true bread which gives light and life to the world. Evermore give us the bread, this bread, that he may live in us and we in him, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I have two songs to share with you this weekend. The first is Casey Sissick singing you light up my life. The second is for my dad and it's the Air Force Anthem. Off we go into the wild blue yonder. Enjoy. <laughs> 